show you how to get your child registered for a tournament on track wrestling. You will start off by going to www.trackwrestling.com, which I'm at. You will go to the upper right hand corner where it says My TW, My Track Wrestling. If this is the first time that you're on this site, you'll want to create an account. So you would want to hit sign up for an account um, and then just create an account. It's super easy. I'm not going to do that because I already have an account. Um, so then when you click on that um, My TW, you just put in your username and password. Sorry, I clicked back there because it was automatically logging me in. So I'm going to sign in. I know that I'm signed in when in the upper right hand corner it doesn't say my TW anymore. It will say whatever, however you've set up your account. Mine says Trotter. Um, so from there, um, once I'm signed in, I'm going to go to the events tab in the upper left hand corner. That will bring up all of the different events on track wrestling. It can be overwhelming, so I always hit this function in the gray banner um, up near the top. You hit functions and then you can search um, the events from there. The only annoying part is it always tries to like auto populate things. So just click out of that if it does that to you. Maybe you'll get lucky and it won't. And I usually will just search by state, so Illinois. For this instance, I know that the tournament I'm looking for is in Bethalto. So I'm going to search just by Bethalto and it will bring up anything um, that's related to Bethalto. So what you, you may be like thinking like, wow, they have a lot of tournaments here. No, you'll want to check the dates. Um, all of the old events will be in here as well. Um, so you want to just look for the one for the date you're looking for. So I know it's on 12-5, 2021. So I'm going to click on this 38th annual Bulls Wrestling Tournament. And I'm going to enter the event as a viewer so that automatically populates. From here, I'm going to click on registration. Now your screen will look a little bit different than mine uh, because once you've done this, it will start to auto populate like you'll have members here. Um, don't pay attention to why Pate's in there twice. I'm not sure I need to get one deleted actually. Um, and I've already started a registration for them. So this here will be, um, for you would be not there. Um, but you would go ahead and click on new registration. And from here, it's just telling you that my registration is not complete. So, um, here I'll show you what you would do. You would add a wrestler up here at the top by clicking add a wrestler. Um, I already have members in here, so it makes it super easy. I can just select the member I want. If you don't um, have that, you can search by your wrestler ID number, um, which is the number that Steven posted on the back of the door in the wrestling room. So if you put that number in, my auto, auto populates because I've already done this, um, you can hit continue there. I'm not going to do that. I will just select my member. I'm going to select Pate here take that out just because that's not his number and then I'm going to hit the continue underneath his name it will auto populate this stuff so just make sure it's correct if so you will hit next um, that you will want to get rid of because this is the number that is again on the back of the door at the wrestling room I don't know if it, what the number is that it auto populated there, but then I'm going to hit, oh, well, just kidding. Oh, put the wrong number in. Sorry. There we go. There. Then I'm going to check that I want to go to that division division. It will, should bring up just a couple that they may apply that would apply to your child. Um, so for here, if it says taught, taught is if they're six and under or younger. Um, bantam is um, six, seven, and eight. 
Intermediate is 8, 9, and 10. Novice is 10, 11, and 12. And Senior is 12, 13, 14. And there is, like I know on the Bulls tournament, it will say like their birthday as of. Um, I think by IKWF, it's their age is determined by um, what they are December 31st of 2021. Um, so you just want to, we'll want to make sure, I know Pate's intermediate, so I'm going to click on intermediate for him. Weight class, if it makes you select a weight, just do whatever you believe that is there, they're closer. They'll do weigh-ins and all that and make sure that, that you have the right weigh-in for these um, youth tournaments. So just click what you think is closest. And then separation criteria, you're going to choose whether you whether your wrestler is a beginner, average, good, or excellent. So do whatever you think, um, wherever you think they are. If you have a question, you could certainly ask one of the coaches and they could tell you. Um, and then you're going to add a wrestler. And then it will take you to... Okay, it will take you to a pay screen here. Um, you would continue... And then from there, you're just going to do your payment. You can pay usually only by credit card. Um, so it'll have you put all that information in. And then your child is registered. If you need help with anything, please let me know. You can text me. My phone number is 217-549-9198. I hope this helps. Thanks. Bye.